Hi and welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to talk about polygons, okay, which is a huge topic in geometry. Now up until now we've talked a whole lot about triangles, okay, we've learned a lot about triangles, how to classify triangles, and I think by now you probably know a triangle is just simply a shape with three sides and you can classify it till you're blue in the face and look at the sides and the angles and everything else and you can study those things but in the end they all look the same they all have three sides okay so they it's pretty easy to identify what a triangle looks like okay uh, in this section we're going to talk about uh, the concept of a polygon okay first of all I want you to look at this word because this is another one of those words in geometry that can can scare you off poly okay poly means many okay that's just a prefix that means many okay uh, gone I'm not even sure to be honest with you you could probably look it up it probably means sh shape or something but in, from from our uh, point of view this is exactly what it means uh, many sided shape okay many sides okay that's what it means so polygon is a general class okay of, of shapes that have uh, many sides, multiple sides. So we're not limited to three sides, we're not limited to four sides, we're not limited to 25 sides, we're not limited to 10 sides. It just means that it's a class of all of these shapes that have many sides. So a triangle is a polygon, okay? It's a type of polygon. So this is more of a class than anything else. So actually this section is not gonna have too much actual math and calculating. This section is gonna be more explaining what shapes look like, okay? So the definition of polygon Okay, I'm, you can see it up on your screen. Is it's, it's a closed plane figure formed by line segments. Okay, and we'll draw pictures and I'll show you what that means. The line segments or the sides of the polygon um, intersect only at their endpoints, and uh, there are no curved sides in a polygon. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is to kind of look at some examples. Okay, here's some examples. The simplest polygon that you already know of is a triangle. Okay. Let's see if our definition holds. It's a closed figure in a plane. That's what this means. This board's a plane. Okay. Formed by line segments. So it's formed by line segments, formed by three of them. Okay. The line segments are called sides and they, uh, they must intersect only at their endpoints, not in more, more than one place. And there are no curved sides. So that's a polygon. A, uh, another polygon would be, you know, something like you see at the stop sign. Okay, that's a polygon. It's got multiple sides. The sides intersect only at their endpoints. It's not, uh, none of the sides are curved. Okay, all of these sides are straight. So this is a polygon. And you can, you know, you can have funky shaped polygons. No problem. This is a polygon. It doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. This is just a crazy shape that I drew. And we've got a bunch of line segments here. Um, this is not supposed to be a curved shape. This is supposed to be a, a straight line. And you have all of these sides here, so that's a polygon. So let's look at some examples of what, what is not a polygon. That's a circle. That is not a polygon, okay? Polygon has to be made of straight lines on the sides with no curves, okay? That definitely doesn't fit. So it's not a polygon. Uh, something like this. Definitely not a polygon. You've got one side here, but you've got this curved thing. You can't have any curved sides for a polygon. Uh, here you have your favorite shape here called a star. That is not a polygon. And the reason is because although you have straight lines making up everything, the, um, and they intersect here, you can see that the lines intersect in more than one place. And that's what we said before. They can only intersect at their endpoints. Okay? So this is not a polygon. Uh, 